morning folks here's what's in store uh, for you over the next 36 hours um, it's uh, 14 minutes after midnight on the 20th day first month 2023 and we're going to have some storms popping up today all along this corridor here down and through here and some are going to be rather dangerous tornadic hail and dumping uh, very heavy amounts of water very quickly and then going away and what's springing up over here is going to be an extremely deadly line of storms. And it looks like it's going to come through about a, about 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon, your time. As they start to pop up right there at 1 a.m. my time. Which puts that at about a 10 o'clock in the morning, your time. Uh, some dangerous storms going to be popping up through here and along the Queensland border. But New South Wales will catch the brunt. Yeah, this is a bad line. And it looks like you're going to have an EMF move splitting them. So be looking for the glitches to come on and burk. Burk specifically around this arena area. This, this comes in. And so we'd be expecting to see a glitch there around that time. These are just the thunderstorms. I'm going to walk you through a more in-depth plan. That's not going to be a good day for you guys down the corner. See the pop-ups? Well, all the dynamics are there. They have very, very volatile weather over the next few days. As you can see, the pressure set up right now. He's got this high firmly in place, and the bubble up is going tropic and south. So the, the likelihood of this hanging out is high, very high. Uh, the likelihood of another one forming over here um, is high. From all the flows, and when this high pressure moves over to dominate, it's going to disturb these two. That's got to truck off with most of its moisture coming your way. I don't see how it's going to go any other way. Oh, weather plan says different. When it comes on this side of this island, it does a weird thing. It collects up out here and then it splits it in half. The flow coming down is going to cut that storm. Has to. And then it's moisture. Eh? See, it hung around as a low in itself. That moisture then goes out. And that's got all the steering winds to bring it toward the coast of Australia. So I, I'm going to be watching this closely. I'm not in full agreement of this plan. But most of your moisture now is coming from the tropics and in through here. All the moisture is in place and every time this bubbles up the cold air comes in place and does it. You can see there's got just a squeeze coming now as the next high is going to come over to dominate. And that gap should widen which is going to open up more stuff through here. I had a good look at it. And I'm more concerned about your totals over the next few days, so I'm going to go right to that. Um, your three days through here is very high, but not like it was, okay? You ain't getting that type of type of storm that you had. The icon on the twos is showing that tendril tool that it came in. And that means broom has to come on to hold that off like that. So I'll be watching for the beams. Those have to be off or doing a very fine scatter. Uh, to make this happen, excuse me, so very hiccupy. Which one I want? National Loopy. Compliments of the Bureau of Morons. I mean, that ain't frying. What's going on here? It's Giles, man. Yeah, that's beaming. Splitting that flow. That's electromagnetic uh, frequency perturbation of the atmosphere. Should show up pretty good here. Hello, Giles. What you doing? So let that load a minute. Do 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 do. Memphis, Tennessee. Why well, I got that song stuck on my head because of Chuck Berry's face when Yoko Ono hit the notes. Yeah, yeah. Robert Iabo put a video up of it. Uh huh. I wasn't sure if it was true, but it seems like it. You gotta remember it. This one's beaming hard. Beaming in a lot of directions. See, you got that coming from inland from up here. You got this one here north of it's beaming. So it's put a heated flow in. That there's only a small gap here and here. That right there is a hold off. Hold off. So that's what's pinned your moisture north was those electromagnetic frequency moves. And what pins it across the middle is going to be a big beam. So let's go look. See what we got. Watch for the flashings. It's going to go bip, 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 bip for a minute. Yeah, that bothers some people. I don't want anybody having a seizure. 
It's bad enough breathing air. So I'm looking for something big. Came up. And of course, there's a big one coming up here. God, there's a lot of moisture in that. Look at it. Look how squared off it got. So they actually aimed it by cutting it. They put a heated wall here to assure it went to that side. Bzzz, getting fried. Getting fried. Vanuatu style. And this is fried stray style right here. Bzzz, look at that beam coming off your coast here. What did they do? What's going on here? Yeah. Okay. Well, that explains it. <clears throat> Nothing to see here. That means that thing's doing that big circle pulse, probably. Because that's what it looks like to me. And that's what I was expecting to see. Right. So that's been done. Boy, did you get sprayed like bugs today with the boomins and the plumins and your frayings and the dyings is going on. Oh, I didn't put on the on your border. Huh? Oops. It should be, eh? Oh, it's because I'm that far inland. Now it's off. You could just see the coast show up and how the weather reacts to it. Right? If you turn those labels off, the coast is right here. You can see it. And you can watch how that, that ass cloud there <laughs> farts off out there uh, toward Eucla. You know, that looked a bit like a geo move to me. Coastal helps me a bit. Shall we watch that again? The ass cloud. Here it comes. And it farts. Coming to crash. Get the big ass with the crack. There it comes. The bombs dissipate. This and another one shoots out of the ass. <laughs> right toward Eucla. That's a chem bomb deployment. Look, and then it turned into three other ones. Oh, that must have had some of those firecracker stars, as they call them, inside them. Look at the sickness mix here. <gasps> oh, you poor folks, man. Toxic air alert for Australia right now. This is a bad stuff, man. Windows closed. Doors closed. Get inside. Don't breathe this one. This is bad. Look at the tendrils in this. I've seen this before. I've seen this on one of the worst days i ever seen in geoengineering history. It was the day I decided to sell everything and go tell the world that we're being killed. And I did. Seven days after I did a forecast on this following day here in 2016, um, I went to Australia. And seven people died. Well, seven days after seven people died, it was in uh, October. Come on. March, April, May, June, July, October. And we go to the 24th. And we look around the same area of the world where I have it going on right now. I go right over here. And that might be the wrong day. And I look over in a great Australian bite. And that's the wrong day. There's the right one. And I saw this in July. Oh, it's the wrong day. That should be October. And I saw this. On the 23rd was this. They started calling this thunderstorm asthma. That ain't a thunderstorm. It's a deployment of chemtrails and chem bombs that was over the top of you. You recognize them more now than you did then. The type of formations that I show you so regularly. And when I saw this, I recognized an Operation Popeye from the Vietnam deployment of uh, Agent Orange and other defoliants that were used over the jungle and to cause rain during Operation Popeye. You should look this up. I recognized it instantly that this is that deployment. And I went, oh my God, look what they can do to us. And I actually clicked that broadcast off. I had to really, really muster myself up to come back on. And the next day that another plume had been put here of the same type of mix. And that one headed toward a populated area. And then a the day after, they headed over Sydney and all the other populated areas, and people started dying from from the air. And they called it thunderstorm asthma. But my whole life, I was told that uh, raindrops took pollen out of the air and stuff like that. So this was something that came in the air uh, that had never been there before. People that never had asthma died. A person from New Zealand had messaged me and never sent me the test results. Says they were swabbed in Melbourne. Were flown back to New Zealand, tested positive for Agent Orange on their nose swab in New Zealand. Never gave me the test data to back it up, but they told me it. I never heard from them again. I hope they live. See that cluster bomb right there? And this is done back then. The flower of death was over Australia, okay, right, preceding the deaths of people. 
so you wonder why sometimes I get so upset when I see these deployments it's because of that and I see it happening today over the country of Australia in the same part of the world again I'm watching them sickening you people and it just even sickens me to have to show you that comparison I call this sickness mix because this makes people sick rocks be down you got bombed this is a chemical attack on the peaceful populace of Australia all the creatures of the lands and the sea and the rivers and the trees everything is being toxified by the toxifliers over Chem Australia today comparing what to that other one I showed you see the square to this the arc of bombs with an emanation point with other ones see them in here this is us as an obvious chem bomb deployment here north of Sedona where that ass cloud came along and farted something towards you like it you needed some more toxic air this is summertime where people are supposed to be able to go outside but you know when people go meeting toward Canberra on the weekends and some of your capitals to protest, they dang sure make sure you got some toxic air to breathe. Yeah, you can't scream too loud if you can't breathe. They're kneeling on your neck in a big way here. What time is it? That's a big flavor flavor clack. Or would you say that's a deployment? Boom, 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 went the plums, man. Cam bombs suck. They really, really suck. And that's so mild from mild door. If you aim a camera west right now, you'll get some shots. From over here, you'll have a bomb field going off over the top of your head if you look outside. Something came along here in the line south of Burza. That's a big long line of chemtrails that went off. It's not just EMF. If somebody says that, they're missing the big picture. What is the waveform propagating it? And that's that's chem bombs. Sorry. Just because it simulates the look of something don't mean it's it. Right? Look at that one. From a full circle. It had to, to dissipate its chemicals as was needed. Maybe it's to wick moisture up from the ground so it could rain it down somewhere else. Maybe it's to bring it into this field of bombs here. It's going to become some storms coming up. Bit of EMF there too, but look at that chemtrail, right? And along that chemtrail came a line with the big E on it, and it's not so excellent for us when your heating bills go up. It just looked like it spelled the word fuck. Really, really fucked. Cam bomb suck. They really, really suck. Gone with the windy is your natural weather over here in Roma. Boom, 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 and goes the plumins. Look at that going over the top of that one. And they're going to interact with each other and cause a predictable react. That might be delivered a different payload that reacts with that one. Polymers and acetones. How do you make a, a diode? How do you make a capacitor? How do you do it in the sky? Layers, man, layers. As the bomb's going by. Yeah. It's hard to see from the ground, but when you look from looking down... You'll see the fireworks. That look like a firework. Like a firework. Well, they, that's that's just a bad shot of your of a kimbang. I mean, where's the firework? I took a shot for uh, my thing the other day. Yeah, fuck it. Oh, make a meme for people. Here you go, look at Wangy Falls. This is where your wang goes to drop if you breathe too much of this shit. Cam Bob suck. They really, really suck. Ooh, look at that. Oh my god, would you look at the guilt here? You got the house symbol. Going home, going home. Cam Bob suck over the ocean. For, for your eyes. Look at this shit. All the way from here to here. The whole peninsula is an entire cow bomb going across. It's spreading out, toxifying, taking away the sunlight from the sea animals and the forests and the trees. 
and stinking up the breeze. Look how wide that is. Oh my. These are 10 minute jumps. These are chembimes. See? Chemical catalyst deployed in the sky uh, to manipulate the weather and cause predictable things. So now I'm going to roll you through a, a little bit more of this, uh, uh, the geoengineering of today. So as the day moves in, uh, the showers are going to extend along that area where I showed you the chem. Right? It's going to get rather heavy. It's been well sprayed. Mm -hmm. As we go through the day, and enjoy the sunshine you've got. But notice that all while you're outside, all that chem's coming over you that I showed you a minute ago. It's all coming this way. It's there now and falling out and being continually deployed. And then the big stuff comes. Mm -hmm. And by then I'll be back on tomorrow morning and give you another forecast. Then I got to go out for the day. Yeah, if you expect some decent totals over on the fives. I'm only going to roll you about that far. I'm not trying to worry people. Yeah, you got some high action coming again. Even on the fives, it's not looking good. Access on the tens. It's very, very much of an inundation of your entire country again. With a big tendril being brought in, taking a left turn from in Albuquerque, kind of Bugs Bunny-like, and coming in and bringing the tendril with it. And what's going to happen to that? The pressure's going to decide. There's nowhere else for it to go when the high pressure's locked the bottom. It's a very, very uh, soggy season for you guys coming. And yeah, they got, they're starting, looks like they come for the trough again. They're swelling the streams. And double, you're dead, dead on it now. Now they're getting honest with your totals. Dead honest with the totals. 15 cents coming on the 10s. <sighs> Expect those totals to rise as we get closer to that event. This is a very just strategic deployment because they know it's going to go in the valleys. Oh, that dang lake again. How much more can that damn dam take? Now, I've already gave you guys the warning, so... Hmm. Wow, that one river's really gonna catch it. And it all goes to the dam. That whole catchment goes to that lake. That goes that way. In a rush. Saggy times, folks. Saggy times coming. All right, let's look at the glitches. The beast is on over here. Bzzz, splitting the flow, getting fried, getting fried. Hey, hey, would you stop it? Over Hillston. The mild door is beaming. That should roll in a minute. See, it's boiling away. You got a square and a circle beam going on. Same with this one's doing the eye shape. Or it's got a corridor it can come through here and showers can still form here but it's hard on over there it's not going to do much on that side it's going to force everything around see what's going on in the, everything's just over the center of a radar station you know nucleating it with energy from a station it looks like they've left this uh feed out completely what the radar's doing i would say it's off but they're just showing the top one certain layer of the cloud it doesn't look like a full image over the Dakar River. And here's over the Kembam area, all through here, which is about to see some action. Marble Bar and all that. I showed you all the Kembams around there. Port Headland, you can see it beaming right here. Coming on out in the wedge. Bzz. And this data from these isn't on at all. And I showed you that. Perth's was off when I went down here earlier. Their radar was off completely. <clears throat> and a lot of stray cats in a circle over there. That looks like a bomb field. What's going on? So we go there and look. 
This is shit on a low deck here. Ray, what you doing to Perth here? Are these bombs or EMF? That's bombs. See the see the cluster look to it? Is that the Boy Scout symbol, the Florida Lee? Batman. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that, man. That's not EMF. That's that chem bomb. See the flower look right there going on? Yeah, you've been chem bomb, Perth. I showed you the ass cloud and all that. So, right. Here's your forecast. Here's your glitches. I showed you the totals. And I showed you what they're going to do because they're a bunch of bitches. They show you ahead of time. Big love, people. Stay safe. Peace.